nearly at my next rest stop. So I've got serious hip and knee pain at the moment. Well, I didn't fancy going into the corrupt court after being buzzed while I was getting myself a sandwich and a toy for the dog. Getting my goddaughter's birthday card keeping my word on that which I'm just going to go and post at the end of this path but yeah they've been monitoring my social media all right they was running around like blue ass flies where is he oh he's got his tracking phone on him good look there he is over there is he going to pick up any Rizzlers no because he waved the dog toy at him Taking the piss. Ah, oh, mate. Ah, oh, just had a nice can of Rubicon. Nice ice cold one. Got the bank account sorted out so I can now access cash. There's the receipt prove that I paid the court fine because I'm trying to pay it um, obviously I've got the cash I kept my word while well, they was trying to intimidate me while I was in pain so let's see how this is going to work now because I'm allowed by law if threatened for no good reason and people come to my house threatening to steal my possessions that I'm not afraid to lose because I never buy top-notch stuff for exactly that reason so if they are gonna take it they're only gonna take second-hand tact which can be easily replaced because it was bought from my benefits one new squeaky toy. One card for my goddaughter. With the money inside that I gave my word that I to my brother that I was gonna give her. It took me an extra day to get it sorted out, but now I'm going to go home and rest, and then I'm going to go and get my food. Bumped into an old work colleague while I was uh, getting my tobacco and everything sorted out. I said, how are you doing, old fella? He said, I got robbed. I said, really? He said, yeah, he said, I was at the uh, cash point at Morrison's and this guy came up behind me and took what I got out of the machine. I said, did you go to the bank about it? He said, no, no. I said, how's uh, your son anyway? I, I said, I just, uh, literally, I pointed him out to uh, my grandson the other day when he was <coughs> through Westwood. He said, he, he picked me up from the hospital I said, really, that bad? I said, okay. I said, how are you feeling in yourself about it? You all right? He said, I'm still in a bit of shock, to be quite honest with you. I said, oh, mate. Now, this is a 70-year-old man with, with problems. Still working to provide for his family, but he's only working two nights a week now because he's getting on a bit and he's struggling, same as I am. This is what this country's become. This is what corruption does to a country. So I told him how I got my money back. I said, don't go to the police first, go to the bank first, report it to the bank. 
let them deal with the place and then you'll get your money back the bank will put the money back into your account just like they just done with mine okay thanks he said so I hope it works out for him I felt really sorry for the old boy because he's a lovely old boy do you know what I mean right let's get back to Roxy but now you're getting what I've been saying all the way along, yeah? Now you get what it's all about. Corruption ruins a country, and this was once a beautiful place. But the courts have uh, disabled people so they can't stand up for themselves no more aren't allowed to defend themselves using reasonable force or lethal force if necessary because they have to call them and get a crime number. This is the pathetic state that the Conservative government and the Labour government have turned this country into. Fucking disgusting. So it's time to kick them all out, push them all into the sea, get rid of a whole lot of them. And the only person that's got the power to sack the government is the Crown. If the Crown doesn't do it as sovereign protector, then it's up to the people to remove the lot of them. A law, peaceful lawful rebellion turns into open revolution. Now you can see what's coming. Just like I can see the end of this road coming. Because I'm sick of it. Everyone's sick of it. And I'm struggling like fuck. And I'm not putting up with it no more. So that's what we got to do. Now where's my inhaler? I'm going to pause the video.